Hello everybody, Tinfoil Hat Lady here. How you doing out there in this crazy, crazy world? Whew, I'm going to be going on an adventure. So I just want to let you know about it. I'm going to go down to Peru to a place called The Source. And if you Google The Source, you can see what a beautiful retreat center it is in the Sacred Valley in Peru. My, um guide and teacher is going to be Tobias Lars of spiritualtravelers.org. Uh, he's great. I've been following him for years, so it's going to be fun to meet him in person. And uh, what we're going to do is do some healing. So it's a medicine retreat, a very sacred medicine called ayahuasca and San Pedro. And uh, I've been carefully doing some dietary restrictions and other things you have to uh, follow a diet that's pretty plain and uh, you have to give up things that people could be addicted to <laughs> my dog's being silly anyway i uh, just want to let you know i'll be leaving uh, towards the end of the month and i'll be down there for about a week and i'm uh, gonna see what i'm gonna learn so I'm quite excited about that because I've always wanted to explore uh, dimethyltryptamine, uh, the DMT, the spirit molecule, and understand a little more about myself and our human biospirituality or whatever this is. Apparently it also helps neuroplasticity in the brain, kills cancer cells in your body. Um, some people are dead against it. I read a bunch of stuff on the internet tonight about the dangers of it and stuff. And there there are dangers. Um, that's why you have to follow the diet. You have to prepare yourself mentally. So pretty soon I'm going to have to, you know, give up all media. Oh, of course, I've given up everything else. Um, the other thing I wanted to say is uh, all the things that are going on in the world right now with Antifa, Black Lives Matter... People worrying that uh, white supremacists are taking over the world. Oh my God. Like, I don't know where the white supremacists were before, but to me, this is just completely silly. And then I read uh, or listened to some video about this woman who was, had 10 things that white people could do. <sighs> oh my gosh. You know, I think the... The Black Lives Matter people have really drank the Kool-Aid. Um, obviously, it's got them in a victim victim mentality. Uh, there's really it this in this day and age, people work for what they get. I mean, yes, there's still racism, but I really think that it's overblown. There's so many laws on the books now. Uh, this hate crime stuff is just ridiculous. It, 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 it's ridiculous. I'm going to do a talk in my town here on Saturday. So if you are where I live, please go to tinfoilhatlady.com slash tinfoil-talks and see if you're able to make it. Because what I want to remind people is that we cannot control other people that's what freedom of speech is all about we can only respond we can only control our own response so for example if i'm walking down the street and someone whistles at me hey baby come over here rawr, rawr, rawr. you know you you ignore them you flip them the bird you um you laugh you tease back you don't get all freaking offended People are talking about, you know, making this illegal and making that illegal. And, you know, pretty soon it's going to be 1984 and Brave New World all over again. Nobody can talk to anybody. You know, it's basically like that now. Um, personal responsibility means that you don't blame other people for how you're feeling. You have to take responsibility for your own feelings. And you cannot control other people. That is freedom of speech. You know, 
Sticks and stones can break my bones, but names will never hurt me. Well, yeah, it might hurt your feelings, but you're going to get over it. Get over it. Grow a pair. Become a strong, sovereign individual. Dig deep. And I think all of this rhetoric comes from the disconnection that we have to our spirituality. Um, our culture has dissed religion. Churches are now just non-profit organizations, which is really unfortunate. And nobody has any connection to their, their spiritual being. We have two cords. One cord is our material being and one cord is our spiritual being. And we've lost connection with our spiritual cord. So we've lost our human senses. We've lost our sense. We're nuts. We've, we've lost our humanity in dealing with each other. And unfortunately, people are, you know, told to take pharmaceuticals for their anxiety or this or that, or go to a psychiatrist. Uh, you know, everybody's so fragile and everybody's weak and, oh, the system's against me. Everybody's just playing the victim. Oh, capitalism sucks. Let's all be communists now. Like, holy crap. The only quality of life any country has is when there's capitalism, when people are allowed to be creative and create employment for other people. I mean, I really don't know what to say anymore. I think this is a real brainwashing situation. This is a fascist globalist agenda. They want to destabilize America so bad because only America is standing in the road of complete fascist global government. But a lot of people just haven't been paying attention for the last 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, whatever. They're too busy getting their iPhone and getting their Apple Watch and, and whining about how they're the victim of, you know, Western culture. Western culture is awesome. All cultures are awesome, but the Western culture, there's nothing wrong with it. We can always evolve. We can always do better. Um, but we can't disempower people. I'm a victim. Oh, white people, give me your house. Oh, uh, you know, it's unbelievable. You guys should go and read these 10 things. It's, it's a complete joke. It's inbred victimhood. And it's being validated. I'm really glad that Antifa has been declared a terrorist organization. And I think Black Lives Matter is probably a terrorist organization too. If you're going to hate on me, hate on me. But these people hate cops and do violence. Black people kill more black people than anybody. I was listening to a young man speak on YouTube, a black young man... And he was saying he can't even go into black neighborhoods. It's too dangerous. Policemen are trying their best to stop, you know, people from killing each other. All humans are humans. This identity politics thing is ridiculous. You don't identify yourself by your sexuality, your politics, your gender, your race. We are human beings. This is what we've gotten away from. Society has made us human doings. Oh, I'm not doing as well as you, so I'm a victim. Ooh. Come on. This is the lack of spirituality, the lack of connection to our true spiritual nature. Our thoughts create our reality. And the globalist agenda is pumping the media full of sick, awful, twisted thoughts. Think your own thoughts. This is a hologram. This is the holographic cafe. Order what you want. Don't listen to any media tell you what's what. Go into your heart. Love your neighbors. Take care of your community. Help other people. Other humans. I don't care about your sexuality. I don't care about your gender. I don't care about your politics. And I certainly don't care about your race. You're part of the human race. So get over all this identity politics thing, it is really out of control. So that's what I want to say to you tonight. Um, that's what's going on, kids. So I don't know if you get me or not, but uh, please leave a comment and let me know if you do, whether it's good or bad. Anyway, I'm so looking forward to have a month off of my work. 
I have a headache right now because my work gets so busy sometimes. And of course we have, you know, not enough staff. There it goes. I love you very much. And I know that you're going to do great things. All right, so hang in there. Visit my blog, tinfoilhatlady.com. If you need some inspiration, scroll back. I got great blogs from the past, too. A lot of, you know, uh, my travels and a lot of the anomalous things that I've seen. And uh, just some of my basic ideas there to help you think things differently. All right. I love you all. Take care. And please don't call me a Nazi. That's friggin' ridiculous. <laughs>